kasi sa mga question guys ng EPS topic is more on a lo- uh, logic, no? Then, pag may nakahanap tayo mga keyword, ang gagawin natin is hanapin natin yung, kumbaga, related na words sa kanya dun sa choices. So, usually, uh, yung iba dyan, yung mga pagipilian, yung iba, it's totally unrelated. Okay? So, pag may nakita tayong related sa kanya, malamang yan yung answer. Okay? Hi guys! So welcome back to Hangul Formula. This is Angelo and yeah. So pasensya na guys, wala tayong masyadong mga videos sa mga nakarang araw. So medyo uh, busy, talaga, busy talaga kami dito sa company ngayon guys. And actually, ngayong linggo kanina may pasok kami. And walang day off. Isang buwan na kami walang day off. And pag mga Monday to Friday naman, uh, OT pa rin. Minsan alas 10, minsan alas 9, ganyan. So ang hirap na lang gumawa video. But uh, maybe next month guys, tingnan natin kung ano. But, uh, kailangan pa rin kasi na OT guys, syempre, uh, kailangan natin ng kaperahan and syempre, uh, maliban doon may mga ginagawa pa, kailangan maglaba, kailangan asikasawin si Mrs. kasi pa na, okay, so yeah, nagtatampo na ngayon, okay, so yeah, so before that guys, bago, bago natin sagutan itong mga to, syempre, shout out muna tayo sa mga masugid nating tagapanood, okay, And before that, doon nga pala sa mga nagpapa-shoutout, guys, no, tulong nyo lang sa akin. Pag gusto nyo magpa-shoutout, um, punta kayo dun sa pinaka-latest na video natin para isang video na lang hahanapin ko ng mga mag-shoutout. Kasi medyo marami yung videos, kung isa-isahin nyo, maubusan tayo ng oras and napakahalaga talaga ng kada minuto natin, okay? Para uh, kaysa ihahanap ko ng mga pangalan nyo, i- i- i-discuss na lang natin yung oras, di ba? So, yeah. Okay, so shout out kay Sir Franco EJ. So Sir Franco EJ, uh, shout out sa Sir God bless din sa'yo. And uh, sana nakakatulong sa'yo yung mga ano natin, uh, videos natin kung nah- nahihirapan. So, kay Sir uh, Amar Marino from North Zagaray, Bulacan. Sir, ilang beses na kita na shout out. I-check niyo yung mga videos natin. Sir Amar Marino, okay, shout out sa'yo. And then kay Sir Jesse Biscon, okay. Uh, Shout out to you, sir, Sir Jesse Biscon, and kay Sir J from Tambulig, Zamboanga del Sur. Sir, uh, thank you for watching, sir. Uh, from Tambulig, Zamboanga del Sur, Jace, uh, J. And yeah, so next is kay Naida H. Mustaham. Okay, kumusta na po kayo, uh, Ma'am Naida? And uh, kay Jen Lee, kay si Ma'am Jen Lee, uh, Pasado na rin to dating nagtitik lang ng mga MACTES ng Handbill Formula. Ngayon, pasado na. Okay? Kay si Sir Nelson, uh, N- Nelson, so yung pangalan niya is naka, uh, naka-hangul. Okay? Sir Nelson, shoutout sa'yo. Uh, and then kay Sir Chade. Sir Chade, shoutout na rin kita. <laughs> okay? So, um, this is four days ago. Malamang, pasado ka na ngayon. Okay? And, and then kay Sir uh, Ruk- Rukhatito, uh, Rukharito, Rukharito, uh, Sir, uh, shout out sa iyo kay Sir Rukharito. And then kay Sir Arvin Sampilo, Sir, uh, shout out sa inyo Sir Arvin Sampilo. And then kay Sir Christian Laban, uh, General, General ba ito? General. <laughs> okay, shout out kay Sir Christian Laban, General from Mindanao. So thank you for watching. No? And then kay Sir Nitan, Nitan Suniga. Okay, shout out kay Sir Nitan Suniga. And then shout out din kay Jenilo Torejas Delfino. Jenilo Torejas Delfino. Okay? From Sambuanga, Sibugay. Okay? And kay Sir Edwin Abaiza. Okay? So familiar na yung pangalan ni Sir Edwin. Malamang na shout out na natin to. And then kay uh, Andy Mopolan Arena. Ah, uh, shout out sa inyo, Sir. Andy Mapolon Arena and then shout out din kay Marvin Padua Mortel okay this ito na i think na shout out ko na rin si Sir uh, Mortel no Marvin Padua Mortel and then last uh, ito yung sa mga page natin last kay Sir I'm Ma'am Juneline Biniga Draman Gomez okay ang haba ng pangalan mo ma'am okay shout out sa and then Yeah, so next guys, is shout out naman tayo sa mga subscribers natin sa YouTube. So guys, kung followers kayo ng page natin, huwag nyo kalimutan yung YouTube natin. No? Mag, uh, subscribe din kayo kasi sa page natin, nagboro ako dyan ng mga uh, videos. 
Okay? Uh, it's about policy issue ng page natin. Para sana mamamonetize natin, but still, uh, nagkakaproblema tayo sa, uh, issue, sa policy issue. And yeah, sa video na sa YouTube natin, kompleto yung mga videos yan. Okay? Kung gusto nyo isa-isahin, reviewin yung mga videos natin sa YouTube, kompleto yan. Okay? So yeah, so uh, shout out kay Sir Nino Rambuyon, 1213. Okay? So from Mindanao din si Sir uh, Nino Rambuyon. Okay? Then shout out din kay Sir Alan, Alan Ario, 3409. So, sa YouTube kasi may mga number-number. <laughs> okay? And then, shout out din kay Sir R- ano RJ As TV or R Just TV. <laughs> R Just TV 89669 from uh, Asturias, Cebu. Okay? Uh, shout out sa iyo, Sir. And then, uh, from Abra naman, Nathan Belerma, 8264. Okay? And then, shout out din from Davao City, Mama, ano Mamian, Mamian, Uh, or Mami Ann pala. <laughs> Mami Ann Vlog 3266. Okay? Magka, wala kasi mga space pag uh, sa YouTube eh. Kaya medyo mahirap basahin eh. From Dabo City, Mami Ann, uh, shout out sa'yo. And then shout out din kay uh, Quarog the Basher. Or Quar, Quarog the Basher. Uh, wag natin sir i- uh, flood yung mga comments. Okay? And wag nyo ako i-bash. Uh, please sir. <laughs> shout out sa'yo sir, Angkol. <laughs> okay? And then last, ano? Ay Sir Renny Boy Molina 3899 sa sabi niya pag nakapasa siya magpapa-shoutout siya so i-shout out siya shout out na kita Sir ngayon para siguradong pasado ka na okay Renny Boy Molina 3899 okay and then next a uh, shout out din kay uh, Sirbu 6942 okay so third batch daw siya okay and then kay uh, Sir Sherwin Gayeta Sir shout out sa iyo Sir Sherwin Gayeta and kay Junian Bina Bina ano Binangnan Junyel Binangnan uh, shout out sa iyo sir and then sino ba si Albert Ramos 4563 sir shout out sa iyo about 960 questions sir uh, tingnan natin sir uh, hindi pa natin na uh, ano kasi maraming mga naka line up na uh, request or mga uh, gusto magpasagot na no? tingnan natin guys uh, sir okay and then kay Jean uh, RDC okay shout out din kay Jean uh, RDC And ito. Okay, kay Sohare Kamad. Okay? Sohare Kamad, shout out din po sa inyo. Okay? So thank you po sa mga uh, nanonood ng videos natin sa susuport ang page and channel natin. So sana uh, wag kayo magsawa mag support kahit minsan uh, medyo mabagal yung upload ng up, ng videos natin. Okay? So let's uh, try to continue this guys. Okay? So Ito yung mga question na ito ko sa Facebook. And maraming nakasagot ng tama. So, I wonder kung kailangan ba talaga na explanation pa. But anyway, uh, there are some na no? sabi nila kailangan pa na explanation. Okay? So, yeah. So, number 57. So, tingnan natin, basahin natin. And this is still a fill in the blanks question. Okay? And last time, it's a fill in the blank question then But this time, guys, we are given four di- uh, different uh, adjectives. Okay? And adjectives in English are uh, descriptive verb in Korean. Ibig sabihin, they are conjugated in the same way that uh, we uh, conjugate uh, normal verbs in Korean. Well, parehas lang sila na action verb, adjectives, parehas lang lang sila kinong conjugate. Meron din silang mga modifier form. Just like this one, Toruun, Chulgun, Oduun, and Shiwonan. So, makapansin nyo yung mga modifier, mga nag end yan sa un, nun, and niyon batchi. Okay? So, yeah. So, let's try to read and break this down. Isa-isahin natin yung mga words. Okay? So, Chagup, Changi, Pyongsu, Buda, Mani, Blank, Kot, Kasumnida. Okay? So, this one, Kot, Kasumnida, this is a form, no? Eh, this is nun got kasumnida, ul got kasumnida, or niyan got kasumnida. So, depende sa form, depende sa tense, nag-iiba-iba yung mga uh, ikinakabit natin sa uh, verb or adjectives. Okay? And then, yonggwang dungun se kosuro karaya kasumnida. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung meaning and then hanapin natin yung pinaka-keyword. Uh, kasi sa mga question, guys, ng EPS topic is more on a lo- uh, logic, no? Then, pag may nakahanap tayo mga keyword, ang gagawin natin is hanapin natin yung, kumbaga, related na words sa kanya dun sa choices. So, usually, uh, yung iba dyan, yung mga pag-ipilian, yung iba, it's totally unrelated. 
Okay? So, pag may nakita tayong related sa kanya, malamang yan yung answer. Okay? So, yeah. So, chagop siyang, guys. It's, so, we know this. This is a common word. Chagop is a uh, work and chang is a place. So, a workplace or a workshop. No? Chagop changi. Okay? So, this is a marker and every time we use a marker, e and ka, it's either we are describing this noun, this uh, uh, place noun, or uh, it ilagay natin, i-attach natin to with a person, that person is uh, siya yung gumagawa ng action or, or uh, dinidescribe din natin. Okay? So, since this is a noun, and a noun place, a place noun, uh, it can, uh, it can make an action, it can do an action. Ibig sabihin, uh, dinidescribe lang natin to. Anong state meron tong chagop dyan, tong workplace na to? Okay? So, the next guys, it's pyongso. So, pyongso, it's the usual, no? Usually or the usual. Puda is ginagamit pag uh, nagko-compare, no? Pag nagko-compare tayo ng mga nouns, okay? So, pyongso puda, it's uh, than the, than the uh, usual, than the usual, money, money it means a lot, many or much, okay? And then, here's the blank, kot kasumida, okay? So, which is the right, uh, uh, adjective here, no? So, hyongwang dung, so hyongwang, hyongwang dung, guys. So, this is the keyword here, guys, no? It's actually dung, okay? So, even if you don't know hyongwang, which is a fluorescent, fluorescent, and dung is a light or lamp, no? So, pwede natin, pwede natin maansiran even, even if you don't know this one. And, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, dung, so, light, ano yung mga which one from these four is related to light? Okay? And here, discuss na rin natin to. So, se kot or se, it means new. And se, kosuro, so got here is thing. Bagay, no? And uro, guys, here. Uro, uro is, so, yeah, maraming gamit yung uro, guys. So, you can use uro to mean towards somewhere. Ngayari, papunta ka lang market. Uh, chanon, si jang uro kal ko, ya. Chanon, hakyuro kal ko, ya. Okay, towards or sometimes uro is ginagamit when you are kunyari, you are going somewhere by means of what? By bus, by taxi, by subway. So posuro, texuro, chiachulo kalkoyo. Okay? So that is uro. And here, uro is also used when you are changing something into something else. Okay? Into is the uro here, no? And here, hyongwang dungul. Yung fluorescent light, uh, light or lamp, sekosuro, segot is to, to, into a new one. Into a new one, karaya gestum nida. Kalda, it means to change. Okay? And karaya ham I have to change. And karaya gestum nida. So here, if you drop ham and then change with get, it means your, uh, your intention. Your future intention. Okay? And I think I will have to change the uh, fluorescent light into a new one, okay? Kumbaga, luma na. Kumbaga, parang old na yung fluorescent here. So, he has to change into a new one. Okay? And this is his intention. Okay? So, gaya sinabi ko, yung keyword natin is yung dung. Okay? Dung is a keyword. And which one is related here? Is it toruun, uh, chulguun, oduun, or shiwanan? <laughs> okay? So, here guys, it's uh, toruun. So, this is from the verb Toropta, it means to be dirty. Okay? So, yung dirty ba is something na related sa light. Okay? No, di ba? It's uh, not related at all. No? And, uh, chulgoon, so this one is related sa feelings. Okay? Feeling uh, happy, feeling merry, <laughs> a, a feeling uh, to be enjoyable. So that That's why number two is also wrong. No? And number three, this one, <laughs> this one is the answer guys odupta so this is from the verb odupta or adjective odupta and it means to be dark dark or dim okay odupta and oduun so this three guys is an beup irregular okay so medyo iba yung pagkakonjugate sa kanya when is followed by a vowel okay so nadadrop yung beup so taropta chilgopta and odupta nadrop yung beup natanggal yung beup and then pinilitan ng U, and then, nilagyan ng niyon to use this as a modifier. Okay? 
Oh yeah. So all do un kasumida, I think the uh the workplace is darker or do un kasumida much darker than the usual. No? Okay? Kumbaga mas mad parang mas madilim yung workplace natin than usual. So I think I will have to change the fluorescent lamp into a new one. Okay? So that is the meaning. So answer here is yung number 3. O do un got kasumida. Chagup jangi pyong sukuda mani o do un got kasumida. Pyongwang dong se kosuro kaya gasumida. Kaya gasumida. Okay? So next question tayo. And next question guys, so basahin mo natin ulit. So here, uh, it's about uh, adverbs guys, no? Kanina it's about mga mga adjective. This one is an adverb. And take note here guys, it's chon chon hi, okay? Not chon chon ah. <laughs> okay? And yeah. So chia chol ane sunun. Taron saram durege, pange ga deji anturo, blank iyaki hiya hamnida. Okay? So yeah. So First word is jihachol. Ito sinabi ko kanina. It's subway. Okay? Jihachol an. An it means inside. So inside the subway. Eso nun. So actually this is eso. A place marker. And yeah. So with eso, we know that there is a action happening inside the subway. And what is that? And nun. So nun is a topic marker. And sometimes nun is also used when you are comparing things to other other things. No? Eso nun. So here... Jihachol anesunon. Kumbaga, uh, especially inside the uh, subway or uh, inside the subway in particular, okay? So, may specific na mga action dyan na maybe pwede mong gawin. May mga specific na action dyan na maybe pwede, pwede hindi mo gawin. Okay? Sa, kumbaga, may limits. Okay? So, compared sa ibang lugar. Okay? Maybe outside, you can... Uh, do, do something else inside you can't do that okay so that is eso nun. comparing something maybe uh jihachol pak eso pwede jihachol an eso nun andeo mga ganun okay then tarun saram durege tarun it uh it's from the verb or uh, adjective taruda it means to be different no and when you say tarun saram it means dif uh, different people or different uh, person or other person or other people Okay, since do it's uh, ginagamit natin when we want to make the noun into a plural form. No, saram dul to people. Okay, ege is uh, yeah to someone. Ege it's two, two people or two other people. Okay, panghega treji anturok. So panghega guys, pang is uh, ano to, uh, disturbance or distraction or but to, to bother no pangehad is to bother uh, someone else to bother and panghega dweda so panghega dweda it means dweda means to become so to become a bother so noun plus ma, uh, subject marker e or ka is uh to become noun and here to become a bother to become a obstruction to others okay and this is a negative conjugation chi anta Okay? Ibig sabihin, kabalik teran siya. To become and then not to become. So, not to become a bother to other people, especially when you are inside the uh, subway. Okay? And turo here, guys, is uh, maybe your intention, your... Uh, yeah. So that or in a way. Okay? So as to. Okay? So, so that um, or so as to not to bother or so not to become a bother to uh, to other people uh, especially inside subway blank iyagi hiya hamda okay so ito yung dapat mong gawin para hindi ka makaestorbo sa mga ibang tao sa loob ng subway okay so iyagi it means to talk to have a conversation so parang mal 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 uh, malhada okay iyagi hiya hamda so you have to talk Blank. So, anong klaseng adverb yung ilalagay natin ito? What, so, what is the right adverb? Okay? So, clue here, guys. It's uh, to not to become a bother. Pange. Pange ga treji anta. And then, iyagi. Okay? Iyagi is to talk. To talk how. Okay? So, in what manner? Okay? So, you, do you need to talk kupi? Kupi is from the verb kupada. It means urgently. Okay? And sometimes, when you uh, when you 
when you talk urgently, okay, kupada is to be urgent, kuphi is urgently, okay, yung mga he, we add this to uh, adjectives to make them in adject, uh, adverb form. Usually, mga adverb, uh, mga adjectives na hada, hada verbs, no? Or hada adjectives, okay? Kup hada is to be urgent and kup is urgently. And uh, if you, sometimes if you talk urgently, min minsan napapalakas yung uh, pagkasalita mo, so lalo kang makakastorbo sa ibang tao, okay? And yolshimi, so this one is um, to talk eagerly. So yolshim is your eagerness. Okay, your enthusiasm and yolshimi is you to be to talk eagerly or sometimes diligently. Okay, yolshimi with passion. Okay, so yeah, so also when you talk with passion, when you talk eagerly, sometimes you can, uh, you even if you don't notice, you can talk or you talk uh, loudly. So that's why this two is not the answer. No, it can uh, bother other people as well. And number three. Chon Chon He, okay, Chon Chon He, this one, even if you talk uh, slowly, so this is Chon Chon He or Chon Chon Hada, Chon Chon He, slowly, so even if you talk slowly but loudly, still, you can be a bother to someone else or to other people, right? So, number three is also wrong. And then number four, Chu Yong He. So, what is Chu Yong He? From the verb or adjective Chu Yong Hada to be silent, to be quiet. So this is the answer, okay? To talk silently, to talk quietly, okay? Answer is number four.